Hey guys and welcome back to Nantucket, where we were on our search for new whaling areas. Oh, I got an achievement called Circumnavigation. What the heck is that? I have no idea. Ah, it's down here, the new whaling area. Alright. Well, I'm happy enough to head to Horta first. Because we should be... We're with the wind, we might as well just go straight down, I suppose. If we weren't with the wind, then I was going to head straight to Horta, but... No, it seems like we're fine. Fine just to cut across. You've accepted a new quest. We'll get 200 bucks, plus we'll get... Uh, whale stuff. Whale juice. Discover a new whaling area. Oh! Every time you spend the evening with your crew, you notice that you always end up alone. You're a solitary man. You men prefer to gather around a very sociable shipmate who brightens the rest of the days. So I get a 66% chance to gain sociable and lose one prestige. And a 34% chance that he loses morale and I lose two prestige. Which is what happened. Great. That's annoying. Totally worth it though to build up those, uh... How much do I need for this? Uh, 25 prestige. Ugh. Storms. Fin ahoy! Lower the whale boats. Shark encounter! Oh no! Will we get blubber? Continue. So there's a newborn great white and a newborn great white. Great. White. Oh, Deep Waters Mirage Random Crew Member gets state stunned. Interesting. Oh, I get to fasten one. That's fastened and bleeding, and it's probably dead anyway. Uh, I'll hit the one that's going to hit Stejo. Because he's got <laughs> less health than George. Jorge. Oh, right, okay. Never mind. Apparently it doesn't, uh, it doesn't mean who it's going to attack. I think it just attacks someone on the boat. Or does it always attack the first person assigned? Not sure. Not sure. Alright, oh, and George got a strike, so that's him dead. <clears throat> the day is ours. The water sees turning and return to normal. You raise your arm, the victory cries of your men surround you. And we got the one of the prestige back. And we got food, which is always worth it. Might not get anything to sell at the... Uh, at these shark areas, but... Well, apparently that was supposed to be a whaling area. Oh, but because it was a shark, of course. Derp. There's no wind anyway, but I was going to say there's literally no... There's there's no point in uh, sailing into the wind. Well, let's head to this narwhal area to try and get some cash while we're out. We might as well. Uh, but presence of whales, or just rumours, yeah. Okay. Blow the whale boats! Kill all the enemies. Right, let's see if we can get George first, then me, then Matthew. Okay. Continue. That's just a young narwhal. Okay, it's dead. <laughs> Need to fight some better things, man. But at least we got some blubber. Some food. Got a lot of, uh... A lot of food on the ship just now. Uh, with an abundance of food in the hole and a small crew... No, standard portions. That's the thing, man. You don't want a lot of... A lot of food. Lower the whale boats! Okay. Last used. Oh! Oh, it's all newborns. Actually, oh, I was going to say I feel like giving him the... Oh, Steedro got stunned. Rude. 
Roll the dice. Okay, so we've got evasive maneuvers. Oh, we can evasive maneuver one of them. Make any difference. No, apparently they all just hit Stejo. Apparently that's how that rolls. Uh, I think... He's stunned us now. Alright, so let's hit the... What's it, the blue one? One down. God. Right, so you're just gonna be fine. Bloody tusk strikes, man. That's it, I'm like, oh, I hope that we can get some more difficult enemies. Picking more difficult enemies will just end up with people dead. You're already bleeding, don't worry yourself. Random sea creature gets stunned. Ugh. Sure. Oh, that's cool. It takes zero damage when protective status is on. Oh, that's really good, actually. Oh, no, never mind. I should have just put him back onto whatever the, uh, the cabin boy dice. We've all turned Finn up. Alright, let's head back to Nantucket. Sure. Characters are getting a bit low on health. I think, as far as I know, yeah, Stijo is sitting in the, uh, uh, in the hammocks, just chilling out, just gaining his health back. Let's enter the harbour. Should get, yeah, 230 odd bucks. 213 bucks. Pretty good. Greek revolutionaries declare war of independence against the Ottomans. Franz Grill Parzer premieres his Das Golden Fleiss in Vienna. The African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church is founded in New York. Let's get a reward for this. Kill Easter Rufus. Reports indicate a creature has attacked several ships in the last few weeks, become the most wanted prey of the bravest whalers. Seven days away and it requires level nine. I am not level 9, I'm level 2. Unfortunately, we ain't doing that. Uh, how's this field of view we're doing just now? I don't, know. don't even know how it's done. Um, there we go, and let's... 160 bucks we made on food. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so we've got 145 days of grog, loads of water, 160 bucks made on food. Pretty spiffin. What are we needing for... Oh, okay, so these actually change. Oh, that's not great. Uh, look at that thing. Jesus. Alright, so I might want to... I might want to actually focus on getting sales to... Uh, to level 2 as well. So after this we'll go with sales. I think that's what I was going for. I will go with sales so that we can get the uh, a clipper if uh, possible. Okay, let's uh, sail away with me. We'll head to uh, Horta. Horta? Horta. I think it's Horta. Galapagos Kraken. Right, so let's head back up here into the narwhal area. And then we'll go around. Hopefully we can get a wee narwhal fight. Blue whale. That's crazy. If we can get another one that tells us to go down to Kororareka, we can get some blue whale hunting in. Oh, it's inactive now. Bugger! That's June 21st. 
All right, let's go Horta and see what they've got. Hopefully they've got something that'll be a... Uh... I reckon we can sail through this storm. Yeah, we were fine. Into the harbor. Oh, George leveled up? Fair enough. Hope you guys got any good jobs. Deliver goods to Nantucket. Oh, easy peasy. Thank you very much. Right. Let's head back to Nantucket. I'm hoping that we can get some, uh, some better missions, that we can get some better whaling areas, because... Hunting down these, uh... I need to go straight across. Hunting down these narwhals isn't great. It isn't great. No. Okay, straight for it. I mean, they're alright, and if we get three, then it's rough. What's this one? Yes, let's try and do this. Yes, we're sociable. Thank God. Whose morale will be high now? Wait, did George not level? We did. Oh nice, we've got, uh, hunting food. Sweet. Let's go, good job George. Proud of you. So now if we're ever short of food, which we never seem to be. June 21st. Do September 21st. No, I mean we can head up there and, uh, in June time and try and hunt something. Already meant to unload the shipment. Journal updated. Perfect. Enter the harbour. We'll see if there's anything new. Yep, there is. There's a new issue of the newspaper. Sweet. English chemist John Kidd describes a new substance that he calls naphthalene. Na naphtha, basically. Isn't it? Na naphtha? Yeah. <clears throat> Patriarch Gregory V is hanged by the Ottoman Emperor in response to the Greek uprising and Percy Shelby presents his... I do not... I'd, sure. Sure, whatever. Oh, Spicer Arthur, who's a level 10 now. And we need to deliver the... We need, oh, great. So we could deliver goods back to Horta where we need to go for 75 cargo space, but we ain't got 75 cargo space. We ain't even got a max of 75 cargo space. Sail away with me. And then we're June before the new whaling area opens up, so we can go and hunt that. I think now we're just going back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. I want to go to Peterhead, I want to go to England. Why is it only Peterhead that we can stop off at though? Like why, why are we only allowed to stop off in Scotland? Why can't we stop off at the English and see the uh... I'm also guessing that there's going to be that will uncover more uh, more cities than just Nantucket, Horta, Peterhead, uh, Cape Town, Mbatuba, and wherever the heck the other place is called, Krakatoa. Right, back to Horta to hand in the quest, and then we might take a jaunt over to Peterhead. Actually, no, because we're waiting on uh, June 21st. Oh, we've got a couple of months. Do you get to Peterhead back? Easily peasily. Oh, nope, never mind. Better go back to Nantucket. So we can get a new technology. And new issue. The newspapers arrived. Napoleon is no more. He perished in exile. Greek rebels earned their first decisive victory against the Ottomans. And a new rubber lined fire hose is invented by British inventor John Boyd Dunlop. Let's get a reward for this. Okay, and. Make sure we're roughly all right, and then back to Nantucket. Bloody hell! Back to Nantucket. Away from Nantucket. Back to Nantucket. Uh, Nantucket, center of the world, man. Center of the world. I suppose that's why that man was from there. Right, straight. Oh, there's no, there's no point going straight north because there's literally no wind. Now there is. Now we can go straight north. Always straight north out of Horta. At least as far as the prevailing winds accessible to us. Oh, 
Not mind. Ah! What do you changed? That way. Yes, then target. Go! The North Atlantic Ocean. Uh, yeah, so we should be able to get to Nantucket, get the sails? Is it sails? Oh, that's the crow's nest, and then we'll start researching the sails. And then get up to this whale feeding area, up here in Baffin Bay. Or is it like the end of the June? End, end of the June? Excuse me. Uh, ah, deliver goods to Horta, it's only a 25, and unveil the Ella's Destiny. Perfect. Okay, next thing that I want is to research this. Okay. So that we can get the... Oh, we could get the Maggie, which is a sloop. The exact same as what we've got. Um. Oh, it's a Bermuda sloop. Oh, it's better in every way, but it's three grand. Oh, that's cool. So we could get that. It's got much higher har cargo space. Well, I say much higher. A bit higher. More HP, higher speed. Yeah, Bermuda sloop. So we're looking at like three grand odd. So I feel like getting getting food and then selling it or basically just hunting. Hunting's the, the best way. But when you ain't got nothing you need to do quests. Hunting's the best way because you get prestige, you get money, you get everything. It's great. Uh, need to go to Horta, need to go to Peterhead. Um, let's head to... Oh. Let's head to Peterhead first because we need to go along this uh, this blue line and Horta we just need to get to Horta to deliver the goods. Uh, oh crap. Ah okay. So we've got a 30% chance to, we can either, some creatures we can either do that or I can use my skill we've got a 30% chance to get an extra prestige and a hundred dollars but then my attack would be unsuccessful but then do we still get to fight it oh I, do I done it nice oh sweet that was it oh that's awesome oh, still wait. I, just, I want to get to Horta I hate that if you right click twice then it wants to create a, a dock or something That's awesome. So as soon as we go back to Nantucket, we can hand that one in. But so we're going to Horta, uh, delivering the goods, then back to Nantucket, hand both the quests in up here to the Narwhal feeding area to start murdering some of them in order to gain ourselves some cash. What are you meant to unload? Might as well dock in uh, Horta while we're here. Okay. Make sure we've got over a hundred days of everything. Uh, Bolivar defeats the Spanish army at Carabobo, leading Venezuela to independence. Palembang is conquered by Dutch troops, so it will be part of the Dutch East Indies. Majestic displays of artifacts from ancient Egypt and the Egyptian Hall of London. Deliver goods to Nantucket. Perfect. That's exactly where we're going. Alright, let's sail away. Sail away with me. Every time, man. Every time. Oh, I also wanted to see if I could get someone in the, um, the harpoons. Because we've got that space now. Uh, since I upgraded it, can, no, nobody can go in the, the harpoons. So, two damage times the upgrade level. Oh, so I don't, th I don't think anyone can ever go in the harpoons. Alright, fair enough. Weird that our, uh, <laughs> our direction from... We're sailing leeward. We've got 10% ship speed modifier. Negative 10%. And now we have... No, oh, no, it's still the same. Interesting though, interesting. Yep, so we'll get here and then June 21st we should be able to get up there to the whale feeding area. We might just t spend some time up there. like. Bring like 200 days of water and spend like a decent amount of time up there. Uh, while walking your cabin, you notice one of your men surveying some papers. As he notices, he holds up some old maps. Captain, during our last stop, I won these old maps playing dice. Show the location of a hidden treasure that belonged to the pirate George Booth. We should clear it for ourselves. What do you think? 
I think it's worth a shot. Hey Bill, it's always worth a shot. Where the heck is it? Oh god. Alright, well we're heading down to Kororareka anyway. When's the dates on this one? June 21st as well. Ah. Uh, We'll head down there eventually, I guess. But unfortunately, guys, that's all we've got time for in this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Studio, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.